Okay, so the examples that we had is, the examples that we had are monomial denominator. Okay, so however, binomial denominator sometimes exist and conjugate is being used to rationalize these denominators. So we are going to use the conjugate property for us to rationalize the denominators of our given so for example we have here a plus square root of b is the conjugate of a minus square root of b so kapag nakuha na natin yan and then mumultiply natin sila this will become a plus square root of b times the quantity of a minus square root of b that is also equal to a squared minus b tatandaan nyo to to Kasi, yan yung magsasalba sa inyo pag nakalimutan nyo. Okay? So, pwede, pero, paano mo ba ito sasagutan? Okay? Pwede mo rin siyang sagutan by the use of FOIL method. Okay? Ano ba yung FOIL method? The first term, imumultiply mo. Then, the outer term, imumultiply mo din. Then, the inner term, and the last term. Yun po yung tinatawag natin na FOIL method. Kung nakalimutan mo to, okay? Pag nakalimutan mo that this given is also equal dito, okay? A plus square root of B times the quantity of A minus square root of B is equal to A squared minus B. Pwede mong gamitin yung FOIL pag nakalimutan mo to, okay? So, likewise, dito sa unang given natin, letter B lang yung may uh, square or may radical. Okay? Likewise, if A is, is square root of A plus square root of B is the conjugate of square root of A minus square root of B. Ibig sabihin, gagamitin mo yung A square root of A minus square root of B para ma-rationalize yung given. So, again, kapag ginawa mo na yan, multiply mo pa rin naman sila. So, the answer will be A minus B. Okay? Tanda mo lang kapag nakalimutan mo that the given has two radicals or both of them has radicals, ang gagawin mo lang is what? A minus B is the answer. Pero kung nakalimutan mo, gamitan mo ng FOIL method. Okay? Applying the concept earlier, we have here the example, number 1, 2 over 3 plus the square root of 5. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na binomial denominators. Okay? So, <clears throat> ito, lang, ito kasi yung given natin kanina. Ito lang. No? Square root of 5. Ngayon, dalawa na sila. So, how are we going to answer this kind of question? Katulad nga ng sabi kanina, we have to use the conjugate. Okay? So, ano ang conjugate ng 3 plus square root of 5? Babaguhin mo lang po yung sign. 3 minus square root of 5. So, meron ka nang gagamitin na pang multiply. So, kopyahin mo lang po yan sa taas. Next, i-multiply na natin sila. Since 2 times 3 minus square root of 5, since given natin ay dalawa, kailangan natin gamitan ng parenthesis para ma-recognize natin na i-distribute natin siya. And then, ito ay magiging, katulad ng kanina, 3 plus the square root of 5 ma times the quantity of 3 minus square root of 5. Okay? So, again, i-distribute natin yan. This will become, pag distribute natin, 6 minus 2 square root of 5 over Ano nga ang magiging sagot natin dito? A squared minus B, which is 3. 3 squared minus, ano yung B natin? 5. Okay. Next. So, next on that is, magiging 6 minus 2 square root 5 over, what is 3 squared? 9. So, 9 minus 5, that is, Kinopya ko lang, 4. So, pwede pa natin siyang i-divide. 
No? So, since hindi naman natin sila pwedeng ipag-minus, dahil hindi naman sila parehas, ito may kasama siyang square root of 5, ito single lang as 6. So, pag dinivide natin yan, ito at ito magiging 3 and 2. Okay? So, ito naman at ito magiging 2 at 1. Okay? So, ang natira, 3 over, uh, 3 minus square root of 5 over 2. Okay? This is the final answer. Okay, another example tayo for having 2 or binomial denominator is that square root of 5 over square root of 3 plus square root of 2. So again, gamitin lang natin yung conjugate nya para madali natin masolve. Babaguhin mo lang po yung sign. So this will become square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Ito po yun. Doon po yun galing. Babaguhin mo lang po yung sign. So again, multiply natin yan. This will become square root of 5 times the quantity of square root of 3 minus square root of 2 over square root of 3 plus square root of 2 times the quantity of square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Okay, tindihin nyo na lang. Hindi na kasya. Next. Next is, multiply na natin siya isa-isa. Or pwedeng, ganyan na lang muna. Okay? So, square root of 5 times square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Over. So, since pareha sila na may radical sign, ano magiging sagot natin? A minus B. Okay? So, the answer is A minus B. So, magiging 3 minus 2. And that is square root of 5 times the quantity of square root of 3 minus square root of 2 over 1. Kasi 3 minus 2 is 1. So, we don't need to write yung over. Kasi 1 na lang ang magiging sagot. Okay? So, pwedeng ito na ang final answer. Or, i-distribute mo. Square root of 15 minus square root of 10. Okay? Ito kasi, nilabas natin yung common term nila, which is 5. Okay? Dito. Ano ba yung common ng 15 and 10? 5. Okay? So, pwedeng ito ang sagot. Pwede rin namang ito. Another example that we have here is square root of B over 1 minus square root of B. So, again, yung conjugate nya, gagayain lang naman natin. So, this will be the answer. Okay? Baguhin lang natin yung sign. Next, square root of B times the quantity of 1 plus square root of B over 1 minus square root of B times 1 plus square root of B. So, next. Proceed tayo dito. Square root of B plus square root of B squared. Distribute natin. Okay? At naging B squared kasi dalawa na yung B. B times B. B squared. Next. Over. So, since isa lang ang may given natin, Magiging x squared minus b. Okay? That would become 1 squared minus b. Okay? Next. Simplify natin yan. Square root of b plus b. But naging b? Kasi na-cancel out yung radical. Kasi 2 divided by 2 is 1. Kaya 1 na lang yung power natin. 1 minus b I 1 squared minus B is 1 minus B. So, the answer is as is. Okay? Square root of B plus B over 1 minus B. And for our last given example, square root of X plus 2 over square root of X minus 2. So, multiply natin ulit siya sa conjugate niya, which is a square root of 2, uh, square root of X plus 2. Okay? 
So when we multiply this together, x uh, square root of x plus 2 times square root of x plus 2 over yan, square root of x minus 2 times square root of x plus 2. Okay, next. Pwedeng pag-isahin na lang natin sila. Since parehas naman sila, pwede natin silang i-square. Kasi pag in-expand mo naman to, ito din ang magiging sagot. Over. So, since meron tayong a squared minus b ulit, kasi nga isa lang naman ang may radical sign, sundin natin siya. So, this will become x squared minus b. Okay. Okay. So, again, square root of x squared minus 2 squared. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin ay a squared minus b squared. Bakit? Kasi, ang radical natin, nauuna. Okay? So, kapag in-expand natin to, gamitin natin yung FOIL method, magiging uh, square root of x squared minus 4. Okay? 4 yung magiging answer natin dito. Hindi lang basta yung b. Okay, which is yung 2. Magiging mali yung sagot natin doon. Next. So, this will become uh, square root of x plus 2 squared over makakancel na yan. Magiging x minus 4. So, pwede ito na yung sagot or expand mo yun. Ito. Magiging x plus 4 square root of x plus 4. Okay, pag in-expand natin to. Ah, nakita pala. Again, pag in-expand natin to, ito yung magiging sagot. Okay? Over x minus 4. Okay? Okay?